Hello and welcome to another 23 chairs video. In this video I'm going to be renovating these vintage boat shelves. They're not in terrible condition, they're just looking a little bit tired and could do with a good refresh. So let's get started. Uh, first of all taking away the shelves. Um, this larger boat also has kind of a rope decoration around it which I'm not a fan of so I'm taking that off completely. Um, taking off the fixings, hanging them to the wall and then just filling all those holes. Um, you'll have to excuse the slightly dodgy camera work in this section. Um, I got a new gimbal for Christmas and was just trying it out with varying success. So this smaller boat um, has actually got a slightly damaged area on the front. Uh, the veneer is peeling away and some of it's actually broken off. So this is just going to need a little bit more of a thorough repair on that piece. I'm just going to fill around it, then get in there with the wood glue um, and make sure that that piece of veneer is stuck back down again. Oh, cat. Hello, cat. So back to my gluing. Um, and uh, just need to clump that, leave it to dry really, really thoroughly. And then we can come back to that in a bit. So now it's had a good chance to dry. I'm gonna go back in with the filler, smooth out any bumps. I can also use the filler to kind of rebuild a little bit where the veneer is completely broken away. So um, it's all gonna be painted, so it doesn't matter about the finish on that. So now coming in and sanding everything. getting um, a really thorough sanding where I filled obviously to smooth out those lumps and bumps but also a good rub down all over to smooth out the finish and just help the paint to hit, adhere a little bit better as well. Once I've finished sanding each one it gets a really good hoovering just to make sure that all the dust is out of all the corners inside. Just do myself as well while I'm at it. So now it's time to start doing the painting. All the bits that were stained wood, um, originally all stained different colours, they are now all going to be painted white. When they're finished it just makes them look so much brighter and lighter. So you can really see on the larger boat here where the stain is much darker that that white paint is not covering all that well. It's quite streaky at the moment. So this is gonna definitely need multiple coats. So just getting started on the second coat of white paint. Um, you can see here it is covering a lot better. But I did have to go back a couple more times. Um, I did four coats of white paint in the end, um, just to really, really cover any brush marks and streaks. It's quite a similar colour, a little bit paler and much more muted. So once I've done the main areas with a bigger brush, I'm just coming in with an artist's brush and touching up, um, trying to get that seam between the white and the blue really, really crisp. So 
So to make these shelves a little bit different and unique, um, I'm going to be covering them with this floral wallpaper. My inspiration for this came from painted narrow boats. When you see them with those really bold enamel painted buckets and watering cans and just covered in flowers and looking really bright and funky. So it's just kind of like a, a muted modern version of that. So the blue paint has dried a bit streaky, it's a bit bumpy, I'm not completely satisfied with that finish. So um, I'm giving it all a sand over, trying to smooth out any brush marks and um, I'm actually going to spray a coat of paint over the top to get it a bit smoother. So because I've already painted the white and I've already done a couple of coats by this point, I really don't want to get the blue spray all over it. So I'm just going to have to mask that really, really well um, using up some old Christmas wrapping paper that's got a bit um, scrunched up in the cupboard there. So the next job, um, back outside for ventilation. <laughs> I'm going to get some um, spray adhesive on the shelves and get that paper on there. I'm fitting it fairly loosely to start with and then once the glue is dry it's easiest to just go back and trim it after that. So I also thought it would be nice to decoupage some of the individual flowers onto the shelves so um, just roughly cutting them out to start with and then going in with a craft knife and my very sharp scissors um, I found it was best to use both. Um, I have much more control with the scissors, much less likely to make a silly mistake and trim something I didn't want to trim but it, for those really fiddly bits you do need a craft knife as well and a good cutting board. Now I'm just coming back and doing the shelves of the smallest boat. Um, these ones weren't removable, so this was really, really fiddly. Um, just trying to get round into the shelf really neatly, but also allow for that little cut around where the edging strip was. Um, it was a case of lots of trial and error, fitting it, measuring it, trimming it, <laughs> and back and back and back until I got it right. So quite a bit of cutting out to do, it was very laborious, it took a really long time but actually really really satisfying when you get them all perfect looking at the end. And here they are ready to go on the boat. So I just kind of played around with all the different shapes I had, tried them in different positions, um, then marked with a pencil where I wanted them to go. A bit more spray adhesive. The advantage of that is that it stays tacky for quite a few minutes. So if you need to reposition something, you can really carefully lift it off and um, get it where you want it to. And here they are, finished. Um, they've had a coat of varnish as well, just to protect that decoupage, um, keeping them looking nice and shiny and new. Um, and I'm really pleased with them. I think they look really different. I haven't seen anything else done like this um, with the floral element, um, but keeping the colours quite traditional. Really like the combination. And they are now for sale on the Etsy shop. So if you're interested in buying these or just want to have a look at some of my other items, just click the link in the description. You can also follow me on Instagram at 23chairs to keep up to date with the latest projects I'm working on. Once again, thanks for watching.